Well, hello there. Happy 2022 to you. I wanted to pop on and ask some questions. No matter where you're at right now, I want you to know, first and foremost, that where, where you are at right now is just where you're at. It's not who you are, right? Please, I hope you understand that. And if you need to, press pause, rewind that a little bit more, and listen to it again. Because just because you are where you're at right now doesn't mean that it's, that it's the end. And it doesn't mean that you are going to be there for a long time or even forever. But that's not why I'm on here. I just wanted to, uh, to enforce that and to encourage that. Okay, well, I was coming on to ask you some questions and to give you some um, some helps, right? I'm sure by now you've either given up on some of your resolutions or have given up on some of your goals that you have, but I'm going to help you dig just a little bit deeper, right? Because I know me, I've been through some pretty interesting and pretty challenging times. Not only the past year and a half, the past six months, the past couple of years, right? I'm talking about me here. And it just seems like it's never going to end, right? Well, guess what, guys? If you're like me and have CPTSD, it can seem really overwhelming. However, with a game plan and with the right questions to ask, asking you to dig just a little bit deeper to keep you up and running and going. I want to help you out with that. That's why I'm here. Okay. So I've been, like I mentioned before, I've been through a lot of trauma. There are a number of things that um, can slow me down, that can slow you down too. Don't take that pressure or that hard time and just let it be. Don't let those emotions rule that you rule you. As I'm having a challenging time getting my words out. I'm not stu stumbling over them. I'm just I guess you can say I'm second guessing myself. So anyway, I need to stop doing that. See, I have a hard time with that too. But it's okay. God's got this. My number one is to do what God is calling me to do. And to not stop doing what he's called me to do because other people are giving me pressure, right? Um, so there's a little buzzle, bells and whistles going on. I apologize about that. Okay, so the main, I have a list of questions here and I was going to break them down from here, right? So um, if you're not familiar with me, I'm a personal development coach and I choose to I choose to push through the pain and to not let my circumstances keep me where I'm at because that's where the world wants you to, wants to keep you. I'm here to help you to develop in a Christ fashion, in a Christ-like fashion by following him, keeping your eyes on him and him alone. Like for the past six months, seven months, I've been keeping my eyes on Jesus. I've been, I've had to remind myself to be a lot like Peter who walked on water, right? And the only reason why he stopped walking on water is because he started to doubt. started to look around. And um, I, I'm guilty of that. So I want to encourage you. I'm extending out my hand out ahead of me, which is also behind me to help you through this, right? Behind me, as in like, I'm turning your direction. I'm turning towards you and saying, let me help you. I've recently welcomed into my world the past couple of years, a community of people who don't judge me for where I'm at, but they encourage me to keep going forward. And I'm welcoming, welcoming you into that as well. Okay. So let me get, get back to the questions that I initially came on here for now that I'm four minutes into the video. <laughs> anyway, how is your 20, how are you, how are you planning your 2022 to be? How are you planning your new year to be? 
since we don't know the future, that can be hard. Do you have a plan? How often do you engage with that plan? Do you set goals? And are those goals that you have in a smart format, like specific, like are those goals specific? Can you measure them? Can you say, well, this is where I'm at now and in three months I would like to be this far, right? Is it accountable? That A could be a number of things. It could be attainable. Well, that's kind of like far-fetched, I think, because anything is possible when you have your hands with Christ, when you're walking with Christ, right? Anything is possible. Just because you plan it doesn't mean that it's not going to happen. It might happen better when you're walking with him because he's already put it in your heart, right? Okay, so, and then the R for, is it relatable? Is it relatable to your circumstance? Is, it, is that goal specific and relatable to what you can accomplish with that specific goal? And also, is it time-based? Like, are you... Are you putting a time limit on that? Just because you does that you don't you say, just because you have something done, you say, "Hey, I want to have such and such and such thing done by March 1st." Doesn't mean that you can kick yourself on March 1st if it's not done. You just have to reevaluate. And again, that's what I'm here for. I would love to help you out with that and to cur and to I want to encourage you to uh, re to revisit that and to forgive yourself on that. And um because when I reflect back on the things that I did in 2021, I've changed my goals so many times. So many times. I can't even... And it's okay. It's all okay. Um, sorry, I just have all these, all these bells and whistles going off. Anyway, um, in 2021, I... Answer respond to this right here. So in 2021, I did some things. I put a plan in. Um, I did some things that I wanted to do one day. Well, you know what? The Lord pressed it on my pressed it on my heart. The Lord pressed it on my heart to do it then. And guess what? I did it. I might not see the fruits of it on a monetary standpoint right away but that's okay because that's not what the whole point and purpose of doing it was for right the point and purpose was to actually do something that's been in my heart to do and it's all up to God for that one and so one of them is I am a, I'm an author I'm a one of them I'm a published author and I can proudly say that because I did it my name is on a book and the book is in a number of people's hands, right? And I did it with a number of other people. I'm very proud of that. I was nervous about it, absolutely. And then the next thing that I did is that I publish a devotional journal that's available on Amazon. I will have the links to both of those in the note in the comments below, in the in the description below. Um, and all of that wouldn't have come into play. Hadn't I leaned into another fear of mine and worked through that and by becoming a coach, right? Because I had to coach myself through it. And uh, it's a, and so many doors have opened from that. So I pray, I hope that you subscribe and that you follow me if you want to hear more. And I'll just talk to you guys soon. Have a good day.